Hello YouTube, Tan Brolo here. Today I'm going to be reviewing a SanDisk solid state drive. This is model U110. This is a cache drive, so it's not really uh, designed to be a standalone hard drive. What it's going to do is it's going to use some software that SanDisk provides. It's going to intuitively figure out what files I used most often. It's going to write those to this solid state drive and this will become my system's cache. It should speed things up uh, tremendously. I'm going to be installing it into a laptop. This is an HP ProBook 4520S. Um, there is very limited space in this machine, so what I'm doing is I'm going to mount it into the DVD-ROM uh, DVD slot, which uses a SATA connection. Went online, did a little homework. I found an eBay seller who sells this case which fits into my model of laptop the case was 10 bucks and uh, I fit this SATA drive in it fit perfectly switch the hardware on and that should be it this will just slide right back in like so and uh, I'll get this all bolted back together and uh, let's see how it runs Okay, so I have the hard drive installed uh, physically. I haven't started Windows yet. I'm just at my boot screen. So I think what I'll do, I have uh, I have some encryption running and uh, I can't let you see what's written there. But I'm going to hit enter and I'll time how long it takes uh, to get to the Windows boot. And then I'll boot into Windows and see how long it takes until I can open a browser window. Uh, once I have that figured out as a, as a baseline, I'll get the software installed get the cache drive running, and I'll boot up a bunch of times and see how much faster it gets. So here we go. I am hitting enter. Okay, so Windows is now doing its thing. We are seeing how long this is going to take. Takes a while. I've got a lot of uh, stuff running on here. I do use this machine for work, so it's got a good amount of software. A lot of it's very bloated and uh, definitely slows down the machine. All right, still going. Okay, there we go. So we just got to the uh, Windows boot screen, and I'm going to put in my password and my user ID. Bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter, off it goes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Taking its time. Because of this, I don't boot this machine very often. I use Hibernate a lot. I go out of my way not to shut down because there is a lot of stuff on here and it takes forever to boot. So there we go, okay. All right, we are booted. It's now installing device drivers for the new hard drive. All right. All right, so that's a pretty good test. Uh, we'll see how long it takes just to get to this page, all right? So that'll be our baseline. I'm gonna go back in this video and I'm gonna time everything. I'm installing the uh, software that uh, doesn't come with the hard drive. You have to go to a website and install it. I don't really know. Okay, here's what's going on. Welcome to the install wizard. Nothing out of the ordinary. Da da da. User end agreement. Okay, everything's fine. Next, where do you want to put it? Uh, do I want to create a desktop shortcut? Sure. And I guess I do want it to start with Windows. That would just make sense. In that case, I don't need a desktop shortcut. Okay, I'm going to install it. And. Alright, then 
nothing happens. My USB key is still blinking away, so something is happening. Alright, now my hard drive is thinking. Something is going on. This might not be the most exciting video, but I, I did want to do this all in real time. No editing, just, just to see how long this stuff does take. Okay, some window popped up way over here off screen. That's a little odd. But uh, it says installation completed, finish. Okay, you must restart f for everything to take effect. Yes, yes. All right, and now I'm restarting again. So you don't need to see that again. I'll stop here and uh, let's do this again. Okay, so I restarted Windows and uh, this automatically came up because I did set it to uh, start with Windows. It is an Express Cache monitor and uh, I, I'd actually rather if it opened minimized. I don't need to see this every time I boot up. But it's showing the cumulative megabytes read since the last system boot. And uh, I, it, the first screen that came on said that uh, you don't have to do anything. It just works all by itself. There's there's nothing to go into. There's no settings to manage. Uh, you just kind of do your own thing and it, uh, it, it works all by itself. Uh, I'll also point out that I checked under my computer. There is no new drive letter assigned. Uh, just all the ones I had before. So my C drive and some USB keys I have running. So you don't get a new drive letter with this ready cache. It, it just works in the background. I've been using this SSD for about an hour and uh, I see that the used portion of the cache has increased. It's now up to uh, close to 5 gigs. So what I've done is a number of system reboots. I've opened up all of my most commonly used programs repeatedly. So uh, Internet Explorer, uh, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Acrobat, just all the usual stuff that, that get used uh, very very often. And it's filled this up to uh, 4.88 gigs. Uh, there's also a cache monitor option which uh, shows what this looks like. So you can see that we're, we're, we're getting higher up in, uh, in, in the amount of the, the cache being used. So uh, that's all handy that we can see all of this. Now what I'm going to do is uh, reboot one last time and we're going to see if it's any quicker than it was before. Okay, once again I'm at my safe boot uh, login screen. I timed the video uh, the first time I did this. It took 39 seconds to go from here uh, until I get to Windows. So I have my watch ready. I just hit enter. And let's see how long this takes to get to the uh, Windows login. We're at 10 seconds. Uh, we're at 15. We're at 20. I don't know if this will make any difference at all because the cache software probably isn't started yet. Okay, we just hit it. That was at about the 52 second mark, minus 20. It took 32 seconds. So first time around it took 39 and this time it took 32. So I don't know if that's really any noticeable difference uh, because as far as I know that the cache software doesn't load until Windows is is loaded so um, on that one my 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 guess is uh, I don't know that may may not make any difference at all let's see what kind of a difference there is from the login screen going into Windows how long that takes right, I'm at the Windows login screen my uh, ID and password are in when I did this the first time before installing the drive it took 47 seconds to get to a working uh, uh, desktop, so I'm going to hit enter uh, right now. The second hand on my clock was right at 12, so this will be easy to time. 10 seconds. There we go. Took about 11 seconds. 11 seconds. Just like that. That's pretty impressive. It, it it that was an 11 second boot up from uh, from the Windows logon screen. So just like you know, two hours ago it was 47 seconds 
now it's 11 seconds so that's pretty pretty close to uh to what you'd expect given the theoretical speeds of these drives um going from a a a, a sata uh traditional drive which i think does 100 megabits sorry megabytes per second maximum but rarely actually does that to these uh sata drives which do 480 uh, mega megabytes per second uh much much faster so um yeah that's it quick easy review really um it just went from 47 seconds to 11 seconds that is pretty awesome i'm impressed i give this uh five stars out of five excellent bang for your buck great way to upgrade your machine that is everything hope it's helpful tanbrolo signing out